Lightweight concrete, four parts perlite to one part Portland cement. <laughs> four parts perlite to one part Portland cement. It's not the strongest mix. It's not the lightest mix, but it's a good in the middle mix. And in this case, this has fiberglass and PVA. And I would expect this to perform better than a similar mix that doesn't contain those admixtures. Specifically, those are put in there to increase strength characteristics. Uh, PVA is glue, essentially, and 25% of the water or liquid, let's say, that we use to make this mix was comprised of PVA. We just took out 25% of the water, replaced it with this glue, and it should make it stronger. I expect to see that. I think the number that I was, uh, or that we're looking at for the most weight that one of these test blocks has been able to take is I think 46 pounds. Uh, so I'm hoping to see this one exceed that. Uh, that would be great. That, <laughs> that would make a lot of sense if that's the case. Hopefully exceed it by a lot, but you know, we'll see, we'll just see what happens here. Um, so we've got four to one perlite to cement. Perlite is not the strongest. Uh, I think a four to one perlite mix that I did or something along those lines maybe came in at around 26 pounds of weight before it broke. And, uh, so, you know, it wouldn't, we'll see how this performs by comparison, because again, we have both fibers and P PVA admixtures here to hopefully increase the strength without increasing the weight or without increasing the weight substantially anyway. Let's go ahead and weigh it right now and find out how much this one weighs. Nine point five pounds. That's super light. That's actually really impressive. We'll weigh it again because it doesn't want to stand on its own. So let's double check that we've got a good weight here. Nine point five pounds. It is quite, <laughs> quite light. So, how much weight will it take to break this? Well, I'm not sure. Place that up there. So we have a 28 inch span, one inch thin, thick test block. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, let's see here. Oh, yeah, hi. Um, I don't think we broke the record here. No, I don't think so. Let's take a look. I'm gonna say like maybe 40 pounds, probably like 30, 38 pounds. Let's see how it turned out. Thirty-five point nine one. I think that's quite a bit higher than the perlite without those components in it. So a strength to weight ratio of three point. I did it again. Gloves. I need gloves. And I'm back. 3.78 strength to weight ratio is significant because I think that's the highest number we've seen. It's even higher than the control group. And 
while the number itself maybe didn't break the record, I do believe that that's higher than I, than we've achieved with Perlite and the, our, our other tests, uh, because Perlite to me is not what I go to when I'm going for strength, even in terms of lightweight concrete, because of course, Perlite and Vermiculite are both so similar in that they basically feel the same, other than one's kind of like brown slash gold shimmery color and one's white, they look and feel really similar. Uh, they're the same cost, they're available in the same size bags at the same places, and it's so, I mean, they have such a direct comparison counterpart. If I want strength, I go to Vermiculite. If I want something that's going to be, hmm, let's say, water repellent or porous, specifically something that's not going to hold on to water, I'm going to look towards a perlite mix. And I would expect it to be weaker, like, you know, direct comparison for vermiculite to perlite. I would expect perlite to be weaker. The numbers seem to support this. The numbers also seem to support that the addition of fibers and PVA have increased the strength of this uh, 4 to 1 perlite mix here. can't see too much in the way of fibers. Try to look down the long side. You can see a couple of fibers. And then look for the consolidation there. Pretty good overall, I'd say. Pretty good. It's hard to get an even distribution of fibers uh, when you're mixing with a a drill and a paddle attachment and that's how I mixed these together. Perhaps it'd be better to use a flat shovel and turn it over or a you know a mortar mixer of some kind to get a better distribution of fibers. I suspect that we could have done a little bit better. I, I could have done better in terms of the fibers. So I don't know whether it's the PVA or the fibers or perhaps it's the two of them together but I think we've arrived at an interesting result here. We've achieved our record highest result for strength to weight ratio in this lightweight concrete challenge. Uh, and we've also substantially increased other mixes involving perlite and cement by adding those admixtures. I hope you find this information helpful.